Hello! In this video I'll make this Dremel or Proxon drill tool holder for mini lathe. I'll make it step by step, from sketches to anodizing. I got this great tool Proxon which I want to use in mini lathe. So I must to make some holder for it to mount here on quick change tool post. For that I just need a simple piece to clamp the drill and mount here in tool holder. First make some measurements and draw it for easier work. Ok, that's what I want to sketch. Piece is really simple to draw and also to make, but it's worth the gold when you need it. There is just two important measure. One of them is that hole to clamp the drill, in my case 20mm, and that measure depends on what kind of tool holder you got. In my tool holder I can insert max 12mm tool, so I make something between 10 and 12mm, it doesn't matter. There I cut a piece to half and add a screw to clamp drill into. I will make this out of aluminium, because there is no some big forces on 100 watts drill. So let's find some piece of aluminium. I don't find some small piece, so I will cut out of bigger plate. First mark the dimension I need and cut the entire width, then cut on proper length I need. Ok, now prepare the milling machine and mill the piece all around from all 6 sides to get out nice finished piece. When turning the piece around always cut the edges or the vise will squeeze it and the part will deform. Top and bottom surface are really aligned with a homemade fly cutter which works just great. And that's how the piece look. Ok, now mark the center of hole and drill it with some bigger drill bit. I use 40mm. Bigger drill bits mean less RPM for nicer cutting. I could make a hole with 20mm drill bit, but the hole won't be so nice. So I used this cheap boring head and got impressive result. Also you can set that boring head in any diameter until I got the perfect size hole. Just a bit and here we go. Drill fits perfect into hole. So I can cut the edges. As I said, the dimension of that part isn't matter so much, so I mark the lines onto piece and just follow them while milling. This part is really easy to make, so I improvise a bit more and make radius here instead of right angel as I draw in sketches. Then again use a fly cutter to make straight shank to clamp in late tool holder. So the part looks something like this. Now continue milling to get space for a screw head. With 3.3 drill bit drill 25mm deep and then with 4mm drill bit drill 15mm deep and cut the edge. Here I got this special tool for cutting 45 degree angel. After a bit of playing around the part looked much better. Now mark the center of hole to cut it in half. This groove can be made with angel grinder or hand saw, but I found this saw in a trash once and make 20mm holder for it so I can clamp it in Morse cone as we call it. It cut aluminium like butter. When I cut the first wall, put the piece a bit out of ice and cut a bit more on other side of hole, so tightening will be easier and stronger. Now cut the M4 treat in it. It can be made while drilling, but I forgot. Now finish all detail with the file. Drill holder is now ready to use. Just insert in tool post and clamp the drill into. For that I use M4 by 20mm screw. It can be tight with fingers and hold drill on its place rock solid. The holder is ready to use now. But I will make one more step that the holder look really finished and super duper nicely. I will anodize it. It work like magic, but more about this I tell in some other video. Well, this is my finished Proxon holder for mini lathe. Now just look a few examples how can we use this holder. This holder can be used in boot side, parallel and perpendicular, or any other angle. We can drill with it and even mill. Sometimes I need to grind some strong steel or cutting steel, but be careful there to cover the lid every time you grind on lead. And with diamond disc cut carbon tube as elegant as never before. 
there's just a few operations I make on testing piece. Well, another afternoon project is finished. Thanks for watching, like, share and subscribe if you like and see you next time.